Hey guys, Talk with Cyclone FPV. We are now doing part two of our build on the uh, uh, Arc, uh, the F140. Uh, let me see, it's listed on our site. Yeah, the F140. So you can go under the three inch builds on the three inch frames on our website and you're going to find that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump right to it. And now we're going to be doing the ESC and uh, flight controller and motors and stuff. So let's go ahead and start with the ESC first. Okay, so the first thing we want to do once we've assembled our frame and made sure everything fits properly, let's go ahead and just remove the pieces. And to do that, I'm going to remove the, um, uh, I'm going to remove the screws from the bottom so that I can just lift the top and the standoffs together as one. And, and uh, we should be good to go. So let me do that. All right, five, six, there's eight screws total that I need to remove. And then what we wanna do is we wanna prepare our standoffs that come with the build accordingly so that we leave enough room for everything to not ground out or have problems, okay? And here we go, all right. Okay, with the last screw removed, we're gonna slowly take this off, okay? And just because this piece is, the, the center pieces are on here tight, I was hoping that they would come, there we go. So pull it up and be careful, but you could just leave that on there and then lift the whole thing up and you'd be good to go. All right, so here's our frame. This is what we're working with right now, and this is our flight controller, but here is our ESC, right? So this is the F440 ESC from uh, HGLRC, all right? And what we want to do is we want to figure out how we're going to place this on here so that we're going to get the, you know, the best, uh, make the best of our space, right? First thing is the arrow that you see right here is pointing forward, and the number here is the number two. Let me kind of zoom in there if you can't see that. I don't know if that's going to be easier, but trust me when I tell you that right here is the number two, and this is the arrow pointing forward, which I think you can see that part pretty easily. All right, so what we want to do with that is we want to go ahead and try to lay the bore out this way, but we also know that we have these um, these fasteners in the way, right? So we're going to have to raise this board up, and by the looks of it, if I was to just take this and look, we're talking about raising it up about, oh, I don't know, three millimeters at the minimum. Now, HGLRC gives you some hardware to do this with it, so let's go ahead and open our hardware pack here and see what we've got. Okay, so right off the bat, one of the things I do want to point out is I'm not a big fan of the um, nylon only standoffs. Ah, there's my wife. She's home now. So we'll say hi to her in a minute. Um, and the reason I'm not is because I found more strength, obviously, in a pass-through steel screw or aluminum screw. So that's what I'm going to use, okay? So, and you're more than welcome that you can find these on my website. You can buy them from me directly. Um, uh, you can also order them from anybody else, but uh, mine are color-coded, so let me move this out of the way and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I've got all these bags in my way right now because we've got a lot of work going on. Okay, so for something like this, I'm going to go with like a, um, say a 20-millimeter screw. Probably something maybe even needs to be a little longer than that, but this is a 20-millimeter screw. And I'm pretty sure that some of these are going to match. Let me see if I can use the ones that are here. Nope. Nope. Let me see if I can separate these then so I don't get them confused. Uh, so, all right, so here's, I believe this is going to be two 20 millimeter screws. There we go. So, um, actually, it's going to really minimize the height that we're working with here. So, I'm going to have to go with 25 millimeter. And these are the 25 millimeter screws that are right here. Okay, so let me use these. And we're going to send this through. And if you don't mind, here comes my wife. So, I will say hello to her. She's bringing groceries. Hello. Oh, you need help? Oh, babe, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. Hello. How you doing? You sure you don't need help? Yeah, no, I got it. Okay. Well, I love you. I love you. Good okay. luck. Thank you. Bye. How's it going? It's going, babe. It's going. All right. Well, sorry, babe. I didn't know you had a bunch of groceries. No, no I know. It's very little. You're good. Uh-huh. All right. Next time. I'm going to be in trouble for this. Okay. <laughs> you good? Yes, sir. All right. So we're going to use 25 millimeter screws and try to make room for the ESC here. All right. So let me just kind of try to make this go a little faster by using... Oh, that doesn't work. It's too short. All right. So there we go. There's one. I'm afraid we're going to run out of room, but I think we'll still be able to accomplish the majority of this build with a solid screw through the whole thing. So that's what I'm hoping for. And if you go to our uh, section of our website, um, and hold on, let me see if I can pull that up and I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So let me... Let me... Uh, dogs the dogs are going crazy uh, let's open a new window here and then I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, okay so here 
Let me just try to make this easy. So here's our website, right? And if you scroll down and you go to tools and gear, and then you go to, um, uh, let's see, where is this? Screws and nuts right here, right? So you'll find all the uh, uh, M3, M2, and you see how they're colored because all our screws are, are colored. I've got to put the pictures here, but they're all colored for the sizing, right? That's what I do here. So if you get some of ours, you're going to see them. And that means like basically yellow is seven, uh, blue is 10, uh, yellow is 16 here, yellow uh, red is 12. I mean, everything is numbered accordingly. That way, if you drop a bunch of them, right, um, you're not sitting there because it, it's happened to me. I've, got, I've had a whole bucket of them and I dropped them and they're like 20 millimeter and 18. Trying to separate those two takes forever. So I started coloring them, uh, spray painting them and coloring them. And that's now how I do all my, all the screws here. So uh, if you do get some, that's how you can expect to receive them. All right, so let's continue now and do the next one of 25 millimeter. And get a couple more of these. And look, you can use the HDLRC um, pieces that come with it. But like I said, I really like to use the steel, steel screw that goes all the way through. And I don't think HDLRC would disagree with me there because some of their builds use that exact same technique. So um, as a matter of fact, these 25 millimeter screws are theirs uh, that I pulled from um, a Hornet build, I believe. So uh, prior to when I was ordering my own screws. Um, so here goes, let me just get this in here. Okay, so let's look at how this ESC is gonna, first thing is we're using a 25 millimeter ES, uh, screws, right? So let's see how this sits. There we go, all right? And that definitely gives us enough clearance. It's almost too much clearance, I guess, but uh, hey, it'll, it'll, it'll work, all right? I've just gotta make sure that we work within the range of this frame. And let me see, uh, this piece is gonna get in my way, so let me just get this out of the way. I can just put this reverse direction and see. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have enough room so far, but um, I wouldn't try to go too much, don't expect to go too much higher than that. So the next thing, once the ESC is on, uh, we will uh, go ahead and put our fasteners down, okay? And I'm just gonna use a couple uh, of these standoffs just to hold these in place. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is get ready to prep this up, okay? So that's your ESC, guys, and that will, um, Bring, in, bring to an end this video as soon as I just go ahead and prepare the ESC. So what we want to do here real quickly is, as far as the ESC goes, is we're going to go ahead and apply our uh, flux, right? Just like that. And on this side, we're going to put our capacitor. On this side, we're going to put our um, XT30 plug. And obviously, here's the pads that we're going to connect our motors to. And let me go ahead and power up our solder machine real quick. All right, we'll be almost done here. And in the meantime, while that's powering up, I can go ahead and start cleaning up here a little bit. All right, let's put our ruler back. Let's have a little coffee. And now let's get ready to tin our board. Okay. So we want to tin the board here. And so what we want to do is just go ahead and as long as you've already put the, uh, uh, use the flux pin here, go ahead and get ready to tin your board. And there we go. Let me just kind of wiggle in here real quickly. And all you want to do is just get enough on there to hold on to the pad. You don't really have to worry about covering the pad completely um, because when you bring the motor wire on here, it's going to also fill in those gaps. So let me go ahead and get, get this done real quickly. All right, and just try to keep it clean. There we go. Okay, make sure the board's not hot. It means you've done well, you haven't cooked it. And then go ahead and put your solder for your pads, for your XT30 or XT60, or whatever you want to put on this F440 ESC. Okay, and then have to, like I said, doesn't have to be a ton, and then get ready, because here's also gonna be where you put your uh, VTX uh, connections, I believe, so you should be good there. Let me go ahead and spread this out. 
All right, I'm good with that. Board's cool, nothing hard about that, so we're good. All right, uh, so at that point, um, this stage is done as well. So now we've got our ESC mounted and we've got everything pre-tinned and ready to go. So the next step is gonna be to bring the motors in and get those prepped up. So I'll see you in step three. Uh, if you have any questions, again, hit me up at targetcyclingfpv.com and again, follow us and subscribe. Uh, there you go, let me get those three off of there. Guys, God bless, safe flying, spend time with your family, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya, bye.